This is the Hotel Uterati, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour here. So we have the red carpet laid out, or the pink carpet. Uh, the door into the joint is going to be the cervix. This big thick layer here is the myometrium. That's going to be the muscle of the uterus. And then we're going to zoom in on this tissue right here. This is the endometrium. Now that we're zoomed in, you can see there's actually two different layers of tissue here. This layer that looks a little bit like hot dogs is the stratum basalis, or the basal layer. Then there's a second layer called the stratum functionalis, the functional layer. These two layers' powers combine to summon Captain Planet. No, not really. They actually summon your period every month, provided one of those hasn't entered the picture. Right here, coming in from the myometrium, that outer layer of the uterus, you have straight arteries. Those transition into these spirally and coily arteries, which is convenient because that's what they're called. This layer, the stratum basalis, never leaves, and it's actually responsible for regenerating the functional layer. That buildup or proliferation is caused by estrogen and progesterone. Specifically, it causes the growth of the spirally and coily arteries. As you may or may not know, in order to maintain those hormone levels, you have to have a fertilized egg that implants. Otherwise, those hormones take a steep dive and that causes these arteries to actually start constricting. They go through like a vasoconstriction and relaxation until they actually just sort of shear off. And once the blood flow is cut off, this tissue dies. It necroses and separates from that basal layer. And then it exits the body. I was just menstrual flow. I'm going to have to take a minute with that. As always, thanks for learning with me. And if you've got a question, you know what to do.